Not every shot is under the perfect conditions. The clock is ticking, and the only objective is to execute at the highest level. 200 teams have been chosen from an elite group of worldwide competitors. These shooters come from all over the world, from all walks of life, amateurs and professionals, recreation and exhibition shooters. They each look to prove themselves amongst the best, working in two-man or woman teams as they endure the 10 stages of the Vortex Mammoth Sniper Challenge. Welcome back to the Mammoth Ballistic Center. Dan, I have to say, this year's competition is tight and the competitors are truly being tested. With only 70 teams remaining between the regular and tough man divisions, day two of Mammoth is shaping up to be quite competitive. <laughs> I will say, the mental toughness of some of these shooters will really come into play here. It doesn't help that there's a 14-year-old competitor running circles around the competition during the rucks and out shooting him on the stages. I'm pretty sure I even heard him smoke his own dad for lack of performance. No. Oh. This will get the right part of you. Yeah, that was bad communication. Man. Well, that was the worst stage we saw the whole entire match. Dan, let's talk about the importance of communication between shooters relaying information on distance, wind, and calling shots. So this next stage, we took away one key factor to all of that. Their voice. Let's go to Kelsey, who was on the stage we like to call No Com. Welcome to stage four, no comms. This is a multi-weapon stage where the primary and secondary shooters will engage both pistol and rifle targets at known distances. Competitors will engage three pistol targets at ranges between 25 to 35 yards. Then moving with all their gear to engage three rifle targets from an elevated position set at about 325 yards. Total maximum points for this stage is 36. Each shooter will be limited to 18 rounds in order to engage six targets three times each for a total team round count of 36. Stand by, go. So you guys were saying you just you had some bad stages, but yeah. So we've I've been struggling a little bit with the pistol there, and we were able to get all the points out of that one. We didn't drop a point, so and finish with nice. and finish with a minute and thirty seconds, minute forty five seconds to spare. So wow. that's a little morale boost and a little. Do you think confidence. it has to do with the fact that maybe you guys know each other since you were three and you've been able to do no comms for a while? <laughs> That, I think so. That certainly didn't hurt anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We didn't struggle. Our, our biggest concern was actually forgetting and talking just because it's so natural to communicate. Yeah. Put in the gum. It's like, what can do something with? Just keep our mouth busy so we wouldn't talk. We, if we were confident that we were going to do that well, we would have we would have burnt more ammo and that's just to reduce the weight yeah. for the next round. <laughs> we, we've got right. plenty. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, congratulations, you guys. Good luck on the next game. Thank you. Right, thank you. Yeah. What is patriotism? 
To many, it's being proud of the greatest nation on earth. It's serving a nation that's a force for good or serving a community to keep it safe. It's citizens appreciating law enforcement and law enforcement appreciating those they serve. It's unapologetically speaking your mind. It's being faithful to the founding principles of our nation. Patriotism in this country is good. And this will defend. Mammoth is one of the most challenging competitions in the country. This year, Fort Gordon opened its gates to civilian and military men, women, and youth shooters from around the world. We have father and son teams, all female teams, and Tim, even spouses shooting together. Whose idea was that? Well, I'm not sure, Tim. Well, here's a recap of some of the day two action. That was one action-packed day with only one more day remaining for our shooters to put up some big numbers. The competition is tighter than we ever expected, and the top five teams in each division are within 20 points of each other. Well, how's your picks doing, Tim? Well, if I was in Vegas, I'd be on the streets right now, Dan. Here's the rundown. In first place, Jaworski in Gillenberger. Second place, Murphy in Hamilton. Third place, Slade in Yurk. Fourth place, Posey in Grey Talk. Fifth place, Cotton and Smith. And here we have the rundown for the regular division. In first place, Simpler and Page. Second place, Whitehead and Burdick. Third place, C and Curtis. Fourth place, Meyer and Meyer. Fifth place, Baird and Rudd. Will the reigning champs be dethroned? Will Team Vortex come from behind? Find out in the final episode. Good night from the Mammoth Ballistic Center. We'll see you again very soon.